Hey, this is a quick video just to show you some of the computers I've got networked together to support XBMC. Um, so right now I'll just show you I've got a map drive that contains all of my movies. Each movie has its own individual folder. Um, that comes in handy when you want to manage the art of each of the movies. And I've just read online that that is a, a best practice. So maybe save yourself some headaches because it does take a while if some of your movie files are a little bit larger to drag and drop those things and just kind of let it sit overnight to build your movie database. I use a program called Media Companion. Um, this is on this local computer that lets me kind of jump in and out of my remote movie database. So the movies are not on this computer, but Media Companion can manage remotely, if that makes any sense. Um, so I'll show you two things today. One, um, how to manage fan art. So Prometheus um, here's the movie, the scraper, um, that media companion allows me to pull from IMDB data, fills out all this stuff automatically for me. And one thing that I really like to do is change the fan art. So I'll show you in the, later in the video how this changes what's inside XBMC, but for the fun of it, let's change it from the giant head to these three main characters. So we'll click that, and then save selected. Okay, so obviously you can see it pull up here, uh, but we'll see if that actually holds when we fire up XPMC in a minute. One thing I'll also show you is how you can change the scraper, or scra change the output. Um, so here's a movie, Ponyo, it's a kid's cartoon movie, and here's my neighbor Totoro. Wait a second, this has the same art, it's not the same movie. So a cool feature of Media Companion is you just go up here and click change movie and it's very handy to know in the URL of the movie on IMDB what the IMDB ID number is so I looked that up earlier I'm going to paste it in it's TT96283 click search wow there it is right there click go changing the movie will overwrite all the current details do you want to continue? yes Okay, you see these little status indicators down here in the lower left. I'm not sure if you can see my mouse. Pulling in the tags, the poster, the fan art, and yes, it's good. Boom. That's pretty cool fan art. Okay. So just so you can see how this is all connected, before I go downstairs, this is the computer that's local, okay, that I actually built with the help of Reddit, build me a PC. Thanks guys. And this is my server down here. This is where all the movies are actually sitting on. It's an old Lenovo uh, Idea Center that I put a one terabyte drive into. And then if you're curious, not sure if you can see this, that's the cable modem. And in the back, that's the wireless router. Okay. Okay, so I've got the laptop that's hooked up to the television. It's a, just a 42 inch LCD, nothing super fancy um, and the laptop itself is an HP um, and I can post the specs in a um, in the, the video comments so I'm gonna go ahead and start up um, XBMC okay the scrapers are gonna be scanning for new content that's one of the first things that shows up you can see that in the lower right I'm gonna go ahead and go into movies Okay, so we said we were going to go take a look at Prometheus, see if that art shows up. Let's make our way down here. Oh, passed it. All right, there's Prometheus. It's got the actors. Everything looks good. And let's take a look at Totoro. I think it's up here. That looks good too. So XBMC is an awesome program. It's great for managing. Um, what I had was just a dusty old pile of DVDs. And this really makes me feel like I'm kind of walking through the movie store again. Um, instead of popping up in an old case and hoping the disc doesn't skip, I have this kind of on-demand um, library for my family and I to, to browse through. So hope you enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.